Welcome back, everybody. This is Trek Yards. He's Commander Cocky. I've got a ship, Stuart. I've got a ship. And he's Captain Foley. What happened, Stuart, in the trailer of Star Trek Picard Season 3? Well, many things, we but see a ship. in this video. <laughs> we see a new ship that gets some of the cell damage. <laughs> and then we see Picard hang his head in shame. Like, oh no, what have I done? Uh, always excited to get new designs. This is a Bill Krauss design, so signer is Titan. Good friend of mine. So I really... Happy to see his stuff on screen. Yes, and for clarity, this is not Beverly Crusher's ship, and it's not a Stargazer uh, kit bash reboot, so it's another fresh design. We have no context in the trailer except the Kaboom Oh No, which, I mean, another video we're going to talk about is maybe Starfleet versus Starfleet action, so perhaps the this Titan fires upon it for some reason. That is one option. I mean, if this is the, the nacelle, but you know, in 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 the long shot, which is the the one with the view screen, the basards are they're on fire, which implies the basards are what are damaged. But the the the, the detail shot, there's an explosion on the basard versus in the basard, which implies a, an impact. Very different vibes there. Don't know what to go with specifically. But to hit a basard is a very odd place, given that the rest of the ship is entirely. I mean, this thing is pristine. It's not a scratch anywhere. So, what do you take from this? Because, what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to take it. Um, some people mentioned sabotage, which could be the case. But mm. Bizarre Collector is a weird thing to go for because, yeah, it's just basically a big hydrant, hydrogen scoop that scoops in hydrogen. Um, it's, it's like the least, one of the least important systems on a ship, honestly. Plus, you got another one on the other side. So, I mean, I, I guess you uh, could argue that that stuff would be flammable and a blow upable. And maybe you could like force the area that it's floating in to have particles that were in the hydrogen that are more dangerous so when it pulls them in it can explode but but it's such a small amount of damage i mean we see it it doesn't ripple through in a cell the we see that does the many well the odd thing is many of the ship's lights go on and off after the explosion so it feels like it's a, a ship-wide boom but it's such a minute thing so maybe there's internal battles happening. This is one of the many things. Oh, can you imagine like someone threw a grenade out a window? Like <laughs> it's, it's 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 that random. There's like a big firefight and you know that the thermal detonator that we saw in the trailer. Because boy, it looks like one. Now on the the view screen shot, if you look at the very bottom, it looks like there might be a deflector there because it looks like oh, a pair of blue part. I know. It could also be just a reflection on the bottom of the. But the fact that it's curved throws me off because it looks like it could be a deflector of some sort. It's so tricky because it's right in the line for the blinkies. It's exactly where the red is, which is part of the blinky amount. So that's, yeah, I didn't notice that. And I'm pretty sure we're going to get quite a few new ship designs and probably a lot of old ones in this show. But seeing this one, oof, it's not a very big ship either. So No, no, no. And it is very appropriate for this new era. I mean, they are they appear to be straight out of Stargazer nacelles. And the bridge module in the close-up is straight off the Stargazer because we've seen the stone model, etc. So, two of the which also, in fairness, might t be telling us that it's another ship with the Stargazer bridge set. That's their caveat for allowing every ship to be we have one set and just I would say relight it, but they're not really relighting it per ship. It seems and it's just the same set. Uh, so maybe there is, and then maybe this is the ship that we see that firefight on with the villain. Uh, I mean, it, it's obviously of a newer ilk, so it matches that. That would be fine, I suppose. I say cheaper to have every single ship be exactly the same on the inside. It's not creatively very interesting, but if it's but I mean, if it's either Michael Dawn or a new corridor, I'll go with Michael Dawn. So that's. Uh, but what about the actual ship design itself, Stuart? We've been generalities here. <laughs> We're many minutes in. But what about the ship itself? It looks like an odd design. It looks like there might not be a secondary hull. That's why I kind of pointed out that. The yeah. Thing. It it probably is, but it's so like just the off angle it's yeah it's it's so so weird because yeah look at those struts they, like the 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 spine coming back from the bridge goes straight out and the struts are coming straight out of that so it almost seems like it's a very flat style chip but mm. which i think is great i i actually would really like this to be a flat ship i think it had a really nice flow to it because it's small it's really really small like a fast frigate i'm absolutely all for that just bare necessity, right? Bare necessities. Oh, and to note, uh, if you look on the close-up, no bridge window of any kind. I know. I know. I'm so happy about that. Not even not even close. Yep. Ten points for Gryffindor. 
Um, <laughs> Ten point for Metallus. So yes. Something. Now, it is worth noting, in the uh, detail view, which is very close, it's great for detail, the pennant is 1,000% the TNG pennant. Because the Picard pennant is different. We've seen it in the Stowe version. It has, it's the Delta. Um, that is just the TNG one. So is this a hyper-late era TNG? It just looks real weird. Because that's totally the curve. I mean, that's not... It could be. Yeah, I don't know. It's a bit of a weird anachronism. It is. It is. And can we see what the writing says? Because, boy, I'd hope... I tried. tried. I tried. I tried. <laughs> it's like five pixels wide. Uh, but it, but it's where it should be. It's as okay. It said, "Oh, actually, you can if you just turn it sideways and zoom in." It says "Starship <laughs> USS." Well, yep, <laughs> yep. It says, "Yeah, you can't." There, and wow. and same thing with a long shot. Like I see the text, I see a clear USS. <laughs> you need like a program that. Oh my god! Still clears that up a bit. Like eight thousand percent. Although speaking of clears it up, there is a phaser strip. It's very basic. It's just brown. There's no detail whatsoever on it. Um, but there is one. And is there phaser ball turrets as well? Are we? I mean, the ship isn't of the retro vibe. Oh yeah, I think there is. I think there's a plating on the long shot. There's a little, a brown plate where it sort of would be. I do quite like the dip though. I like the inner ring dip. Oh my god, if that had been like Discovery and was negative space. <laughs> yeah. Well, not, it's, so. it's not, yeah. Thank god. Thank god. But yeah, and, the, and the, there's, a, there's a weird flow. Um, it kind of like curves in from the, back, uh, from the back of the bridge in. That's a really nice shape. Mm -hmm. it's like, it's like, yeah, there's a lot of nice shapes here. Yeah. It's so familiar and so simple, but they've tried to do shapes that are interesting and engaging. Yeah, it's nice. It, it's, I mean... Using the exact same nacelles obviously grounds in the in the era, obviously, and I love the nacelles. So that's good for me. But yeah, it feels like a very a simple frigate of this era, and I wouldn't think twice. That's kind of how you do a fleet. You just oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. So not much to say about this ship right now. However, when we see more of it, we will of course do detailed breakdowns of it, as you guys know. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel, click the notification bell icon, so you get notified every time we upload. So you don't miss those, because we're going to have a lot of stuff to talk about mm -hmm. with Season 3 of Picard. You think? And we're ex I think so. I think we're going to be busy, and I think we enjoy every second of it, even though it's tiring sometimes. Um, so hopefully you guys will come along for the ride. Please like the video, and uh, join us for the lives that we do quite often, and we'll do a lot during Picard. So you guys can put in your two cents. Literally and figuratively. Because Super Chats are very important to keep this channel going through many moons to come. So any amount, literally from the buck to five bucks to the fifty bucks to a hundred. We got two hundred once. That was incredible. Any amount really helps us out doing this show, this channel, and keep on doing content. All the content's free, guys. You guys know. And sometimes it's one show a week, uh, one day, one show a day. Sorry, often more than that. I mean, we're very proud of what we do here. So super chatting helps a lot. Super thanksing on any any video after the fact or on Patreon and join the channel. Both are monthly, and by join channel I mean the button called join on our YouTube channel. It makes sense. Or buy a shirt or something of the ilk down below. If you can, please do. If you can't, hey, keep watching, liking, and commenting. But if you can, please do. That's right. So until next time, I'm Captain Foley. I'm Connor. He's, he's Captain Foley. He's committed. And he is Captain Foley. And I'm still Captain Foley. And he is still Captain Foley. A lot of Captain Foley's in this one now. We've gone overboard. So, we'll see you later. <laughs> goodbye, Captain Foley. Good, good, goodbye, Commander Foley. <laughs>